Hey everyone, today you join me in beautiful Northern Ireland, where I am going to share with you how to film and edit 10 simple 360 shots using the Insta360 X4. We will be looking at step-by-step -step instructions of how to record your footage, the accessories you will need, and along the way, we will also be looking at some great tips and tricks that will help you when capturing travel videos. Let's jump right in. And let's start with one of my favorites, the crane shot. First, we want to attach the X4 to a selfie stick. And for this, I'm using the three meter extended invisible selfie stick from Insta360. Now, throughout this video, I will be mentioning a few different accessories. And if you want to find out more about them at any stage, I have put links to them all in the description down below. Now this three meter selfie stick is great as it allows us to get the camera nice and high. Next, we want to make sure the X4 is set to 360 video mode. I also recommend setting the resolution to 8K for the highest quality and the FPS to 30, as this ensures smooth playback when uploaded to social media platforms such as Instagram or YouTube. Then, facing your subject, put the selfie stick out in front of you, low to the ground, and then slowly and smoothly lift the selfie stick high into the air. As you do this, try to make sure you keep it perfectly perpendicular to the ground to avoid your subject moving off center as you raise it up. Once you've captured the clip, let's now edit it. To do this, you can either use the Insta360 Studio app on your laptop or computer, or as we are today, the mobile app. To start, position your subject in the center of the frame at the beginning of the clip, and then add a keyframe. I also recommend using the de-warp field of view, especially if your subject has straight lines, as this will get rid of any distortion. And then scroll to the end of the shot and again center your subject and add a keyframe. Now, if we play this back, you can see we get this simple but effective crane shot. Another great shot you can capture with a similar motion is the look up. First, put the X4 nice and close to our subject and then slowly raise it high in the air while leaning our body forward to make sure the camera stays nice and close to your subject. Then in the Insta360 app, all you have to do is frame your clip so that it's looking straight up and add a keyframe. And that's literally it. This move is incredibly simple to execute but delivers impressive results. Now on to the fun stuff. Next, we have the tunnel shot so-called because this awesome effect makes it feel like you're looking out from inside a tunnel as your environment wraps around you. Keeping the X4 in 360 mode and again using a selfie stick, extend the camera a little over arm's length away from you and then position it close to a wall, or in this case, I'm using this rock wall and walk forward nice and slowly, keeping the camera parallel to it. To edit this clip, put yourself in the center of the frame and add a keyframe. For the field of view, you want to select the tiny planet option and then swipe your finger down on the screen to adjust the tilt angle until you get this tunnel effect. You can also pinch your fingers inward on the screen to zoom out and then press this button to update the keyframe. Now, when you play this back, you will see your location has wrapped around you to create this barrel-like effect. Now, you don't just have to use a wall for this effect. Here are a few more examples in different landscapes of me doing the tunnel shot. Now just quickly, before taking a look at the next move, if you're getting value from this video, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things 360 cameras, but also drones, action cameras, gimbals and more, and want to learn about the best settings to get up and running quickly, along with tips and tricks to help you get more cinematic videos and better looking images with your gear, then please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. And when you're down there, be sure to check the notification bell so that you will be alerted when my new videos are released. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's kick things up a gear now with another one of my favorites, the Tilt Up. It's perfect for starting with a focus on yourself exploring, then tilting up to dramatically reveal the location around you. All you have to do is fully extend the selfie stick and hold it straight up above yourself as you walk. Then, once you've captured the clip, open it up in the Insta360 app and you will notice the selfie stick gets automatically removed. And this makes it look as if the camera is floating in the air. Now, at the start of the video, frame the shot to be looking straight down on yourself and add a keyframe. 
Then scroll forward a few seconds and move the framing up towards the horizon to show the landscape and create another keyframe. When you play this back, you'll notice we have crafted a clip that closely resembles a drone shot. Again, we can take this up a notch by adding a rotation as the framing tilts upwards. To do this, go back to the start of the clip in the Insta360 app and rotate the framing 180 degrees so that you are facing downwards instead of upwards. Then just click the update keyframe button and that's it. This is another move that looks great no matter the location and one I highly recommend trying out. Now as a quick top tip, make sure to hold the selfie stick close to your body as you walk. This has two major benefits. Firstly, it will help keep the selfie stick stable as you can rest it against your body rather than the only contact point being your hands. And secondly, when the selfie stick is removed, it looks more natural than you having your hands out in front of you. Now, if you're in a location where drones are not allowed or there is restricted airspace, fear not, because using the Insta360 X4 and a selfie stick as an alternative, we can create super convincing fake drone shots. The easiest way to do this is to recreate a push forward forward move with a drone by starting a distance back away from your subject and then with the X4 held high in the air walk slowly and smoothly towards that subject. Then in the editor frame your shot on the subject and create a keyframe. I also recommend changing the field of view to mega view which is the widest and mimics that wide angle field of view you normally see when watching drone footage. Let's take a look at another example. Here I wanted to fake a drone shot to capture an aerial perspective from behind myself sitting on this bench overlooking this beautiful landscape. To achieve this I simply extended the selfie stick out behind myself and held it there while trying to look as natural as possible. Again as the editor automatically removes the selfie stick all I had to do was frame the shot and create a keyframe and voila, we've got another stunning clip that's incredibly easy to create. Next, we have the third person perspective shot. This almost looks like the camera angle you normally get of a character in a video game but is another great one for showing yourself interacting with your environment. To achieve this, I first recommend you extend your selfie stick as far as possible before it starts to get too flexible and too much bend is introduced. We don't want the camera to be bouncing up and down as we walk. And with this 3 meter selfie stick, I find that point is around halfway. Then with it balanced over your shoulder, walk forward nice and slowly. Try to focus on walking in a way that reduces any bouncing and this will help make sure the final result is nice and smooth. Once you're ready to edit the clip, create a keyframe at the start of their video and select the de-warp field of view. Then swiping your finger on the screen, place yourself just below the center point of the frame. Next, pinch your fingers on the screen to zoom out until you get a look that you like and make any final framing adjustments if needed. Again, update the keyframe and press play to check out this amazing result. Next, throughout your travel video, you probably want to include a few vlogging shots where you can help tell the story of your adventures. For example, you join me now in front of this building called Downhill House. It's an 18th century mansion that fell into disrepair during the Second World War. Now if you are vlogging outdoors like me, then a crucial accessory in my opinion is the Insta360 mic wind muffs. These are super easy to attach and help reduce any unwanted wind noise to make your audio much cleaner and sound more professional. For the mode, I recommend changing the X4 to single lens free frame video and set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. You also want to set the resolution to its highest setting in this mode of 4K and the frame rate to 30 FPS for smooth playback on social media apps such as YouTube. I also recommend turning on horizon lock as this will help keep your horizon level and prevent it from moving around if you're swaying the X4 by accident when holding it. Then press the switch lens button here to switch into selfie view so that you can see yourself on the screen and while holding the X4 at eye level start vlogging to it. When it comes to editing the shot, because we use the free frame mode, you don't need to worry about reframing it or even adding a keyframe. Instead, just select this field of view icon on the bottom left of the screen and make sure it's set to de-warp to remove any fisheye distortion. Then select your aspect ratio. So for horizontal platforms such as YouTube, you will want to select 16 by 9 or if you intend to use the clip on a vertical platform such as Instagram or TikTok, then you can select 9 by 16. 
Now 360 cameras are also great for creating POV shots and these style of clips also work really well in travel videos, allowing you to show yourself moving around, interacting and exploring different locations which again helps with storytelling. The best accessory I have found for capturing this POV perspective is this neck mount as it's easy to put on and not as bulky as some of the chest mounts available. For this shot I again recommend the 360 video mode and then all you have to do is capture some footage while wearing the neck mount. To edit it's as simple as creating a keyframe at the start and choosing the de-warp field of view before framing the shot looking forwards and then updating the keyframe again. That's all you have to do for this super simple but super effective clip. However the beauty of 360 cameras is that they capture a full 360 degree spherical recording giving you complete flexibility to reframe later and create dynamic camera movements, so don't hesitate to experiment and get creative. Another benefit of the 360 camera capturing the entire environment around you as you record is that you can turn the X4 into your own personal camera operator. So if you want to film yourself walking around and exploring a location but don't have someone to assist, the X4 has you covered. First, we want to place the Insta360 X4 on a tripod. Now there are many tripod options available, but a solution I love is using the all-purpose tripod from Insta360. This little tripod is small, lightweight and easy to carry, but can screw onto the bottom of your selfie stick to turn it into a tripod. Or if there is a table or bench nearby, you can even screw the tripod directly onto the bottom of the X4, turning it into a mini tripod to place it on top. It's very versatile. Next, make sure you're in the 360 video recording mode and then hit record and now you can walk around and explore your location. Then, once we have captured the footage, open it up in the Insta360 app and move the camera around until it's facing towards yourself. You will notice a small green square floating above yourself on the screen and if you press this, the app will play through the video and automatically track you as you move around. And this simulates having a camera operator follow you around with a camera. Once this is complete, if you take a look at the timeline, you can see some of it now has been highlighted green and this shows you at which part of the clip tracking has been applied to. The last thing you want to do is set the field of view, which you can do by tapping the green highlighted area on the timeline and then I recommend selecting dewarp. This feature of the X4 is one of my favourites and it's incredibly versatile, enabling you to capture dynamic shots that showcase yourself interacting with your surroundings. Another way we can use a tripod with the X4 is to help capture a moving time-lapse shot. Set the X4 to 360 time-lapse mode at 11k 30 frames per second and at a 2 second interval. Then place the X4 nice and high in a location with lots of movement, press record and allow it to run for around 20 minutes. Then to edit this shot, move the framing over to the right side of the landscape, create a keyframe and choose the de-warp field of view to remove any fisheye distortion and then select the update keyframe button. Then scroll to the end of the clip and move the frame over to the left side of your location and add a final keyframe. And that's all you have to do to create this beautiful moving time lapse shot. Next we have saved the most creative looking shot by far for last, the tiny planet. With the X4 back in 360 video mode, again at 8K resolution and 30fps, hit record and start to walk forward with the camera on a selfie stick out in front of yourself. Then in the Insta360 app, add a keyframe and select the tiny planet field of view. Then swipe your finger downward on the screen until you get this tiny planet effect and you can also rotate the planet around by moving your finger clockwise or anti-clockwise on the screen. Let's now play the clip forward a few seconds and then add a second keyframe. Lastly, play the clip for one more second before pausing and adding a final keyframe, but this time choose the de-warp field of view and frame the shot facing forwards or towards your subject and update the keyframe. Now when you play this back, you have this captivating tiny planet shot that also zooms in towards the end to keep it feeling dynamic and interesting. 
So there you have it, a few simple shots that you can capture with the Insta360 X4. And I really hope these will help you create more unique and interesting travel videos with this 360 camera. Don't forget, if you have learned something new, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like down below. And if you love all things 360 cameras, but also drones, action cameras, gimbals and more, and want to learn how to get better images and more cinematic videos with your gear, then I recommend you click that subscribe and notification bell button down below so that you will be alerted when my new videos are released. Now, if you would like to learn even more about the Insta360 X4, then I recommend watching my complete beginner's guide that covers absolutely everything you need to know to get up and running quickly, including the best settings you should use for the highest quality 360 videos possible. And you can do just that by clicking up here or by clicking the link in the description down below.